Hello guys, Crazy Jacob here. In this video I will show you a comparison between a feed line and no feed line at all. So uh, we are comparing, we are still on the same antenna type, dipole, a shortened dipole in an NVIS uh, inverted V configuration. And there was an interesting uh, comment of Kinetic79 of one of the other videos. And what he's saying is that he believes that uh, the feed line uh, helps uh, making the signal to noise ratio better because uh, yeah the feed line goes vertically down and he thinks uh, the because the distance to my station at home is quite low that we have uh, to deal with some uh, kind of also some kind of uh, ground propagation and this is what I'm testing uh, <clears throat> so with, with the feed line connected with this with this theory there should be a better SNR and without the feed line the SNR should uh, be worse and this is uh, yeah this theory needs to be tested because yeah, this is of course uh, would be important if this is true and uh, yeah, here are the results. We did quite uh, lots of, of, of transmissions this time to make the make it more accurate. And here's the result in the Excel sheet. So you see, the, I will explain this because last time I forgot it. Uh, the blue columns are the receiving values from the field station, and the red columns are the receiving uh, values from the station at home, also my targeted uh, station, about so 20 kilometers away. There was a joke after the transceiver, it stands on the top. Uh, so always after the transceiver was the joke, then the feed line, or if there was no feed line, uh, then directly to the dipole. But so between dipole and feed line there was no joke, just to clarify this. The gray fields are the lowest and highest values, I always uh, remove them to get it more accurate. And yeah, you see not much difference, so you see even a little bit higher uh, values on the uh, columns without the feed line. So this would be, uh, this is contradicting the theory. So in my opinion, this is uh, not true. Also there is, seems like no, no radiation on the feed line. So the SWR was so yeah, very low, 1.1, 1.2. And at home I measured the loss of the coax cable. And at 8 megahertz, the loss is also the device showed me 0 0.26 dB. So, with the digital modes in general, we have now uh, a, a way to measure much more precise. It's still for sure not perfect, but this is the best what we have. And I think uh, it would be great if much more people would, would do this because if we collect all this data, we get a much clearer picture of what is good, what is really good and what is not so good. So thanks again for watching and see you in another, I believe it will be another field measurement video. Bye bye.